five. All eyes are on Florida tonight as Tropical Storm Isaac gains strength. It's crossing over the Florida Keys right now. NBC's Jay Gray is there with the very latest on this breaking news. Hey there, good evening, Marla. Isaac is gaining intensity tonight as the storm now turns its full attention to the Gulf Coast. Isaac's introduction to the U.S. Slashing winds and a driving rain across the Florida Keys and through Miami. Around the state, we've got the rain, we've got wind, we've got storm surge, and then we've got the risk of tornadoes. And if the current forecast holds, conditions will only get worse. A large area at risk here, forecasting as strong as Category 2 at landfall. An area that includes New Orleans and southwest Louisiana, which could see the worst of Isaac on Wednesday, seven years to the day after Hurricane Katrina. We are just on high alert. I know that the anxiety level is high. Uh, the storm is somewhat uncertain. Uh, out of the abundance of caution, we have begun to take these uh, precautions. But right now, the primary focus is in Florida, already feeling the effects of the storm. When you live in Florida, you have to be extra cautious. Caution that, like sandbags, is beginning to stretch across the state. Residents are stocking up and boarding up, bracing for impact. Well, it's my livelihood, and i got to take care of it and protect it. Protection in Tampa includes shifting the event scheduled for Monday's opening of the Republican National Convention back a full day, while the move in the middle of the Gulf will be for a bit longer. Crews are being pulled from drilling platforms, part of the race against the storm. Today and tomorrow are the preparation times on the northern Gulf Coast. With Isaac gathering momentum and rushing toward the shore. Jay Gray, NBC News, North Reddington Beach, Florida. Now coming up in about 10 minutes, we'll have more information on how Isaac is impacting the Republican National Convention in Tampa.